button. It takes a second. We're on. Hey, Fancy Show Tech, you're on the line. Josh. Hey, um, ever wanted to, um, boot off of a USB and, um, you, you don't have the right BIOS stuff for yeah, it? Yeah, like on, your, on uh, some old, older uh, computers. On some older computers, I hear that is, that can become a problem. And even yeah, or even ones. on, well, no, not on netbooks, because I think netbooks have that Yeah, option. netbooks, of course, have that, but no, it's new, older, even some newer computers have this problem still. It's a very significant problem, or significant problem for some people who don't have a but, uh, DVD drive, and you're, like, getting, like, a one or two gigabyte OS on there. Yeah, exactly, and uh, there's this one operating system based on Chromium OS that uh, Google Chrome. some people may want to try out, but it only has a USB on it. And some people might want that for an older computer, you know, because they think it's all lightweight and stuff. Yeah. But they can't, because the old computer won't let them boot from USB, and they don't have an I I ISO image. But instead of converting the ISO, there's a really, really easy solution for this, believe it or not. Yeah. And it does involve an ISO and burning a USB, but it, it, it's still really cool. What you do is you down to, well, you go to P-L-O-P dot A-T and download, um, go to the, I guess to the download section. Plop dot A-T. Plop dot A-T. Let me go there on my, uh, on my Lent yeah, computer plop. so I can zoom it in before everyone. It's the boot manager. That's what it is. It is the boot manager. And it'll stay in there no matter what you're using. Is it plop dot I-T or plop dot, oh, crud. Some weird German website. Plop. Yeah, plop that AT. AT. Plop it. That's basically how you say it. It says oops. It, it's, this link. I think it's German, but plop that AT. It says oops, this link appears to be broken. E L O P dot AT? Yeah. AT dot AT. Yeah, that's it. It's still broken. Let me access it. Cached copy of it. It's redirecting me to the search cache. This. The pay, here's the P L O P dot okay, A T. I got it. I got a, a copy of it up. A boot manager. Oh okay. yeah. You have to go to www dot plop dot A T. Oh Hold oops. Me. But I let me go to that now. Here we are. Plop dot A T. Let me zoom in on the logo so everyone can see it. Crud. I think I froze. Uh, no, I didn't freeze it. Okay, we're on plop dot A T. But it'll. What it does is it brings up. And list the menus, boot from hard drive number one, hard drive number two, all that stuff. But that's not the point of it. But the, the point of it, you go down to your USB, it'll say USB, enter it, and it'll automatically throw all the boot um, stuff into the USB, and the USB can actually boot. And you can have your 15 year old laptop, yeah, that's my laptop, 15 year old one. The 15 year old laptop is now booting a USB cord, cord from a USB yeah. port. I, I thought, I thought, what, what OS is, was your laptop running? If it's running Windows 2000, it's not 15 years old, it's probably like 10 or 11 at the most. It got upgraded from Windows 98. Oh. Uh, well, I guess that's probably 11 years old. Yeah, I think it was around 1997 or 98 when it came, when it first got manufactured. It's a Toshiba laptop. It's pretty dandy, uh, but it's 10 years old, so it didn't have the USB boot option on it. So I found that, and that was a really good solution. That really worked. I mean, well, Chromium OS, the RAM on that computer really couldn't handle Chromium OS, but uh, it did the job. It uh, booted it, so um, if I ever need to uh, boot anything, like maybe Ubuntu will decide when you know what? Screw those ISO users. We're gonna um, we're gonna use uh, USBs only. Well, I'll have this CD and I'll be able to use it. And another cool way I'm gonna go ahead and go on real quick before we end this to um, do this stuff. I'm suggesting to Linux developers instead of making all your users go through all the pain of burning a USB drive, the cool thing to do <laughs> oh, is to put the base operating system in. Wait. There's a question from chat. Up. Can it can boot a USB uh, hard disk too? 
but it can only boot up to a two terabyte. Some guy had asked a question, can it boot using my four terabyte external hard drive? It can only boot up to two terabytes, even when the BIOS has 128 gigabyte length. You can't, I don't think you can boot four terabytes. It only boot up to two, it says. Even when it, even if the BIOS has 128 gigabyte length, it will still only boot up to two. Is it terabytes? Who said that? Someone asked if they can boot. You can't do four terabytes, I think, yet. Only only up to two terabytes, but it's still a lot. I don't know what you'd need to boot off of. That would be four terabytes large. Four tera. Who wants to boot four tera? Well, you know, maybe it's a server. Maybe one terabyte. But I don't know. Maybe like. What operates? What operates? Probably some files on it. I'm getting four of those. You're getting four. You're oh you're in raid. If it's inside the computer, it might be able to boot off of it. But if it's if it's an external USB drive, it can't boot off it. It might be I don't know. So it's I've never heard about the OS. And I might have yeah. to turn the audio quality up, which will use probably more bandwidth. But three people have uh, said it doesn't sound good. I'll also have to see what it sounds like on YouTube. Thanks for being in the call with us, Comcat Josh. It's Josh, remember? Oh, yeah, Josh. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, so, well, can I do a little bit of self-advertising really quickly? Mm, okay. Whatever suits your mind. Um, in August, visit me-os.herobo.com. Okay. It's an operating system by me. Okay, thanks. All right. Thanks for letting me be on the show. Okay, bye-bye.